everyone, it's Marine for Learn Fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this new video. So birthday cards, these are the ones I need the most throughout the year to send to family and friends. But I always find myself not having enough. So today I am going to make two cards, very easy as they have the same design. Only the colors are changing. And for a change, there are only a very few images to color. And speaking of which, I am going to start with the coloring. But first, let's take a look at the supplies I am going to use. We have the giant Make-A-Wish die, the Let's Celebrate Backdrop die, a banner die from the Hot Garland Landscape die set, the largest stitched rectangle frame, and the largest stitched rectangle. We have the confetti background hot foil plate. And from Simply Celebrate More Critters, I picked the forest critters and the jungle critters. And I also picked the It's Your Birthday greeting from Offset Sayings Every Day. So as I was saying, I'm starting off with the coloring. I stamped those cute images from Simply Celebrate More Critters on Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper using L'Enfant Jet Black Ink. And I'm coloring them using my Graphite Brush Markers and my Spectrum Noir Illustrator Markers. Alcohol markers are definitely my favorite media to color images. And I like to add my darker shade first. Next, I add a medium shade that I blend with the darker shade. And finally, I add a lighter shade that I blend with the first two shades. So when I'm done with the coloring, I will cut the images using the coordinating dies, and then I will start working on the backgrounds.
So the images are done. Everyone has rosy cheeks. Now we can move on to the background. And we're going to start with some hot foiling using the confetti background hot foil plate. I cut two Stratmore Bristol smooth panels. They are slightly bigger than the hot foil plate. I also prepared two pieces of gold foil. I turned my hot foil machine on and now I just have to wait until it's ready. So the second light is green, that means the machine is ready. So I am placing the plate on top of it with the confetti designs facing up. Next, a piece of foil facing down, a piece of cardstock, next the two plates that come with the machine, and I like to add two extra pieces of cardstock for a better foiling. So I place this sandwich on top of the cardstock and I press the timer button, and while I wait until the button is solid green, I like to press on the plates. It will start the foiling process. And I always have a better result when I press on the plates than when I don't. So the light is a solid green. I can unplug the system and run it with the plates through my die cutting machine. I like to run it back and forth two times. Now I can put the system back on the base and reveal a beautiful foiling. I really love it, such a gorgeous new design. So the first panel is done. Now I am going to repeat the same steps to foil my second piece of cardstock. And the second hot foil panel is done. We are done with the foiling. Now I need to trim those pieces of paper into two A2 panels. So I am using the largest stitched rectangle stackable die to do that. I'm just taping the die on the first panel to make sure that it doesn't shift during the die cutting process. And I'm doing the same on the second panel. Now let's add some colors to those confetti backgrounds. This panel is for the jungle critters, so I'm using a color combo that I think matches the tropical theme quite perfectly. From the bottom to the top, I am going to use a squeezed lemonade, twisted citron, pine needle, and cheap sapphire oxidings. And like I said in my previous Lanfan video, when you start applying the inks, it doesn't look that good, but with persistence and a little bit of elbow grease, the inks end up mixing and you get a pretty nice result. So, my tropical background is done. It's already quite busy with the gold foil, so I'm not adding anything else. I am setting it aside to dry, and I am moving on to the second panel. This one is for the forest critters, and I want it to be more soft. So, from the bottom to the top, I am using squeezed lemonade, dried marigold, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberry oxidings. And just like the first panel, persistence and elbow grease are the key to get a nice ink blending.
and it's done. Now I am gently rubbing a microfiber cloth on both panels to remove any excess of ink that would stay on the foil. And now the next step is to work on the Let's Celebrate backdrops. I cut two of those out of white cardstock. I also cut a bunch of bits and pieces to decorate those backdrops. I used shimmery cardstock to cut those tiny pieces, as well as gold glitter cardstock for the stars. And speaking of which, I am first attaching some golden stars on the backdrop. And this backdrop is for the jungle critters, so to match the tropical panel I did before, the bits and pieces I'm going to add next are yellow, dark blue, turquoise and green. I am sticking everything using liquid glue. And to pick them up more easily, I am using my quick stick tool. Now let's move on to the second backdrop. I have already attached the stars. This one will match the forest critter panel, so I am using dark pink, light pink, orange and yellow bits and pieces to decorate the four sides. And again, the quick stick tool is super handy to pick all the small pieces and attach them where I want them to be. Next step is to stick the backdrops on their matching panels. I want to have a little bit of dimension, so I added 1mm foam squares at the back of each backdrop, along the four sides and at the back of some of the small pieces as well. And these frames were a little bit too white to me, sometimes I don't mind and I like how it looks, but for those cards I felt like it needed something else. So I cut two wood grain rectangle frames that I'm sticking on each card. I think it brings a nice contrast and it also matches the jungle and forest themes. I worked on the Make-A-Wish die cuts off screen. I cut a yellow one and a blue one, just like the tiny bits and pieces on the backdrops. Those papers are from the shimmery packs. I layered each sentiment on a white one to create an outline. I also added golden stars to match the ones on the backdrops. And I am sticking each piece on the top section of my panels using 2mm foam squares. Now, the cards are almost done. I still need to create two banners for my second greetings. I used the banner die from the Hard Garland landscape die set to cut a banner out of chocolate bar cardstock. Here I am using clear embossing ink to stamp my It's Your Birthday greeting. Now a little bit of white embossing powder on top of the ink. And finally, I am using my heat tool to melt the powder. I created an identical banner off screen. And now it's time to finally stick those banners and cute critters. Just like the Make-A-Wish greetings, I am using 2mm foam squares to bring dimension to those parts of the cards as well.
And that's it, all done. I hope you like those cards and I hope that these will inspire you to recreate them or make your own version with the other critters from Simply Celebrate More Critters. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching this video. Have an amazing day and see you in the next one. Bye!